Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to set up Samsung Galaxy M35 5G for the first time. Let's get started. The first thing to do is to turn on your phone. So, press and hold power button which is also called side button. You will get this Samsung logo and within a couple of seconds, you will get this welcome page. From here, you can choose your language by tapping on this down arrow. There are many languages to choose from. It includes many Indian languages as well. Let me keep it English India. Tap OK and then start. It showed a message add SIM to connect to a mobile network. If you want, you can insert the SIM now or do it later. For your review, here end user license agreement and privacy policy are mandatory and sending of diagnostic data is optional. You can opt for all or just the mandatory ones to proceed to the next step. So let me select only these two and tap agree. Easy setup with another device. If you already use any Android phone or iPhone, you can set up this phone by keeping your old phone nearby and unlocked. For now, let me skip this by tapping setup manually. Choose a Wi-Fi network. It supports both 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. You can select the network and enter the password to connect to the network or connect using the QR code. Let me connect using the QR code. Getting your phone ready. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. Here you can opt to transfer your apps, photos, contacts and Google account by tapping Next. You can do it later as well. I will show that in my next video. A link to it will be provided here. Let me select Don't copy for now. Next, it asks to log in to a Google account. You can skip this or log in. For the time being, let me skip this. It is better to log into a Google account as it is required to download apps from the Play Store and to use Google Sync options. I will do this later, hence confirm to skip. Google services, go through them and unselect the one you don't want and tap accept. Choose your search engine, tap next. Select the default search engine from anyone from this list. Let me select Google. Tap Next. Protect your phone. You can use face recognition, fingerprint, pin, password or pattern. Let me skip this for now. Confirmation page. Tap Skip anyway. Getting your phone ready. Please wait. If you want to add a Samsung account, you can do it here by logging in with your credentials. You can sign in with QR code as well. If you don't have a Samsung account or you wish to skip this step, tap forgot password or don't have an account. Here you can create an account or retrieve your account details. To skip this step, tap set up later in settings. It shows why do you need a Samsung account? You can do this later as well. Tap skip if you don't want to sign in. Samsung service legal information. To use Galaxy Store and Galaxy Themes without a Samsung account, you need to select at least terms and condition and tap agree. You can skip it if you wish to do it. Samsung service permissions. You can opt out or keep it based on your preference. 
Tap Agree to proceed. Time to choose your display mode, light or dark mode. Let me keep it light. Tap Next. Getting recommended apps. It is showing Smart Tutor app. You can keep it or unselect it. You can read more about this app here. Once you are done with your selection, tap Next. It is showing your all setup. Tap Finish. Experience Samsung services. Tap Agree. Select the language and proceed to get the Samsung curated apps to get installed on your phone. To skip this, tap this X. Here, tap later. Exit app setup, yes. You will get this home screen. Now, if you go to the notification area, it will show the steps you have skipped while doing the setup. You can go back to them to finish them whenever you are convenient to do. Also, it will finish updating and installing the apps in the background. That's it for this video on how to do a first time setup of the Samsung Galaxy M35 5G for the beginners. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you find this video informative.